Hello students, Assalamu alaikum, how are everyone? I hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. You know that we are passing a bad situation because of we are passing COVID-19. Uh, now I am taking your math class. I will try to teach our topic today. Uh, today's topic is percentage. Okay, let's start now. Uh, now, at, at first, if you want to take your math book, page open at 94. Okay, everyone follow me. percentage question number one how to express fraction in decimal number one sixty percent sixty percent okay you should know that uh, you pick up Hundred percent is equivalent equivalent to hundred by hundred. Okay, so. You should pick up okay this I can write like this 60 into 1 by 100 or like 60 by 60 by 100 Okay, next number two, thirty four percent. It will be like this thirty four into one by hundred, or we can write like this thirty four by hundred. Okay, let me repeat this now. I will I am going to next page, page number 95, question number one. Okay, dear students, can I use this? Okay. Topic is that topic profit and loss. Profit and loss. So we should know at first the definition profit and loss. You can see page number ninety eight. It is given if okay when we buy uh, and sell things in business we normally gain or loss money okay quotation number one just you follow your book page number 98 if a selling price is more than its cost price 
then it is called profit. Quotation number two, if a uh, cost price is more than its selling price, then it is called loss. Okay, you can write another formula. How to question number one? What is the formula? To find out profit. Profit equals to profit equals to selling price selling price minus cost price for example if we want to profit for example one thing selling price is 60 taka cost price is 50 taka so what is profit 10 taka 10 taka is profit okay everybody pick up this okay thank you now we can go next topic loss number two question number what is the formula to find out loss so loss equal to cost price minus selling price okay I go and pick up this okay for example Cost price is 60, selling price is 50 taka. So what is loss? 10 taka. Okay. Now, everybody open page number 99. Question number 2. Everyone. Read the question number two properly. Okay, everybody got it. Can I read this? Okay, now I will discuss about question number two. This is another method is number 90 95 95 question number 3 okay at first now we ready up the question the population of Shogifur village is 1280 and 40% of the population of that village is educated. Find out the number of educated persons. So, we have to find out the educated person on that village. Okay, let's go. How to solve this problem? We can write like this. Out of 100 
population educated person educated are forty. So out of one population educated are forty by one hundred. So total population is one thousand two hundred eighty. Out of one thousand two hundred eighty population educated are forty into one two eight zero divided by hundred. Okay. Now we can calculate like this zero zero here with zero and zero so we get one two eight into four by calculating we get okay four two zero thirty two and carry three Eight to the four and three, eleven. Give one five four on the four and five. So five hundred twelve. So answer will be five hundred twelve. Okay. Another one, question number four, page number ninety-five. Okay, let's go next question. Question number four, page number ninety-five. <coughs> Okay, there are 50 students in grade 5 and 42% students are girls. How many girls students are in the class? Okay, now we will solve this. 42% that means out of 100, out of 100 students, Out of 100 students, girls are girls are 42. Okay, so out of one student, girls are 42 by 100. Last line, we will write. Out of 50 because we have total student 50 students out of 50 girls are okay you can calculate by yourself 0 0 like and 5 to 10 and you can cut by 2, 2 to the 4, 2 on the 2. So we got 21. So this is the guards students 21. Okay, so answer. Okay, pick up the 
answer properly. Okay, answer twenty one. Okay, today finished our math class. Thank you, everyone.